Yo, what's going on everyone? Today I'm going to showing you how to make 3D freeze frame transitions within After Effects. Let's just get straight to it. So as you can see, I've got some footage of 21 Savage here from a Lyrical Lemonade music video. I have got clip one labeled here at the bottom, clip one. Make sure clip two is on top. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate the second clip twice. So make sure it's selected and click Command or Control D and just click it twice. We're gonna name the top one right and the bottom one left. Then what we're gonna do is we wanna align our cursor to the first frame of the clip, right click, go to time and click freeze frame. Do the exact same thing to the bottom one as well. And what that's gonna do is that's basically going to freeze the whole clip of whatever frame our cursor is on top on, which is why you have to be at the start of the clip. And as you can see, the clip is entirely frozen on that frame. Go to the start of the clip and turn off the first few clips for now, and then navigate to the pen tool click on it. This is a tool that's going to allow us to make cutouts of whatever we want within the footage. Especially we're going to be splitting 21 Savage into two pieces. So you're going to have to navigate to the middle of him and find two points that you can obviously remember. I'm going to go to the middle on above of his head where his braid is and click that. And then I'm going to go down to kind of where his jacket ends right here. I just chose those points because they're easy to remember. And then I'm going to spend some time and start cutting out the right side. Take your time with this as the more time you spend cutting them out, the better and more precise it'll look, meaning the transition will look a lot more realistic. All right, when you're done doing that, go to your clip labeled left and go to those two points you remember before and do the exact same thing for the left side. That's what it'll look like when you're done cutting it out. And as you can see, we've got the right side and the left side. If your footage has a little gap at the bottom, you can go to each one into their transform and just up the scale to 101. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to go to this little cube here and turn on that icon for each of the left and right layers. That's gonna make the layers 3D. And as you can see, when we drop down in the transform, we now have an X, Y, and Z rotation, which is gonna give off that 3D effect. You can then turn on the first two clips and what we're going to do is we're going to select both of these by holding shift and just drag them over around halfway of the first clip and then we can just crop it to the first keyframe of the second clip. Now we're going to start animating each of these left and right cutouts. I'm actually going to turn off the first clip again just so I can work a bit easier and we are going to start with the right. Drop down a transform and drag the cursor to the end. Now we are going to keyframe Y rotation as well as position and scale. Now we're going to navigate back to the start and we're going to make the scale 50. I mean, we're going to drag the position out the frame. We are then going to use the Y rotation to rotate it sideways and just do as many rotations as you want. You can even scroll back through or play it back to see if you want more or less rotations. We are then going to select all the keyframes, right click easy ease in. I'm just going to make the motion a lot more smoother. We are then going to toggle over this motion blur icon here and click that as well. And as you can see, just by turning it on and off, that's going to add motion blur to the freeze frame cutout coming in to make it a lot more realistic. And when I play it back, I like the look of that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the left keyframe and do the exact same thing. And we can pretty much just click the transform of the right side, copy it, click on the left and paste it. The only thing we need to change is the position and just make the position start on the left side of the frame. And then when we press play, we've got both sides spinning in just like that. To enhance it a bit more, we're going to select on the right and align our cursor to the start. We're going to add the effect brightness and contrast. We're going to keyframe the brightness at the start, push that to 150, go to the end reset it and then go down the timeline and easy ease in and then we're just going to put our cursor back at the start of the clip click solely the brightness and contrast copy it and then click on the left and paste i kind of want the effect a little bit brighter so i'm just going to click on the clip and click command d probably until i think that the brightness is the best I'd say around there. So that's three more times. And then just do the same thing with the bright. And when we play it back, it kind of has like that shine swooshing effect and it looks great. What I'm also gonna do is I'm going to right click new adjustment layer. Now I'm just gonna add a glow effect. I kind of like the VR glow, so I'm gonna add that. And I'm going to drop down, actually I'm just gonna rename it glow. I'm just gonna go down to the adjustment layer and keyframe the luma threshold. Drop it down slightly until you think 
it suits your footage the best. I'd say around there is good. Maybe keyframe the brightness and up it just a tiny bit. And then we're gonna go on the adjustment layer, move over maybe, maybe six, eight frames around there. Reset, go to the other side around six, eight frames. Reset it again, select all, easy, ease them. Then we play it back. Yeah, that looks really good. It makes that freeze frame transition just a whole lot more impactful when it hits on the next clip. And that is how you create the first 3D freeze frame transition. This next effect, the kind of we're gonna make it look like a bunch of 3D parts of the cutout they are gonna crash in through the sky. To do that, the first thing we're gonna do is make three freeze frame layers just like we did before in the first transition. I've got three now, just labeled them one, two, three. And now I'm gonna use each layer to cut out a separate part of 31 Savage here. I've actually just added another layer here and I'm gonna make that the top half of his head and then the bottom half of his head. All right, so as you can see, I've got the glasses, top part of the head, bottom part of the head, and the torso. If you mess up a bit of accuracy, kind of like I have here, what you can also do is you go to your layer, go down to mask and mask expansion, and that's just gonna expand more of what you selected, as you can see here. You can also change with the feather, make it more blurry, more smooth. And then we're gonna make all four 3D layers like before. Select them all, move them halfway, and crop them to the first frame. So basically, I am going to now start animating each different cutout towards one corner of the footage. I'm gonna drag the cursor to the end, Keyframe the position and scale and put my cursor back at the start and then start pushing the position to the top corner until it's completely out the frame. And then I'm gonna make the scale around 40 and I'm going to keyframe the X rotation and the Y rotation. And then I'm gonna turn it a bunch to make it spin. That's what I think I like around there is cool. And around there is cool as well. And then drag to the end of the clip and just select both of these, right click and reset. And select all the keyframes, right click and easy, ease in. Playing it back, I think there's too much spinning. So I am just gonna drop down these rotations just a bit. So there's small spins coming in. I think that looks a lot better. I am then gonna do this exact process with the other three, but in different corners of the footage. Feel free to incorporate the Z rotation as well, which just makes it spin on another axis too. Do the position and the scale the same, except in different corners, of course, and just experiment with the different rotations to your liking of your footage. When you're done animating each one accordingly, make sure you select motion blur on all the layers as well. And then when I play mine back, you got a sick 3D kind of swarming in effect. I mean, that is sick as it is, but I always want to enhance it. So what I'm gonna do is do that exact same brightness and contrast effect like I did before, but I'm gonna add a different transition. All right, so I've done that exact brightness and contrast like I showed you before. And again, I'm gonna right click and make a new adjustment layer. Make sure it's to the top. Because this is a super crazy freeze frame effect, I want a super crazy transition to go with it. So to do that, I'm gonna go to my animation presets, my user presets, and then go down to my transition pack right here. I know you guys have heard of a million editing packs, but my pack is literally just a transition pack that adds crazy transitions to your edit with one click. If we like that glow effect like we did before, then I'm gonna go down here and look at something with the word glow in it. The glow hit sounds the best to me. Now I'm just gonna click on it, drag it on top of this adjustment layer. And then when I play it back, you got that sick glow hit effect with literally just one click. I'm just gonna get rid of the glow effect cause I already used the glow one. And I'm gonna navigate to something a bit more energy to it. Like a shake looks good to me. You can see the keyframe is already there. And when I rewind it, Bang, we get a sick shake effect. And I feel like that looks a lot better for the freeze frame transition. I didn't want to take too much away from the freeze frame effect. So that shake is just a nice subtle energy effect to just uh, elevate this transition. I don't want to bore you with the pack anymore. So if you guys are interested, I've got a link in the description. I get 50% off right now on all my packs store wide. So make sure to go check it out. That's how you get two 3D freeze frame transitions within After Effects. If you guys learn something and want to learn even more to elevate your edits, make sure you subscribe down below, drop this video a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.